everybody and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. We're uh, currently loading the structures as you can see. Um, we're uh, getting into the game now and being able to uh, load up. Though uh, we're back with a, another episode of Airport CEO. Um, I promised I believe last week um, due to uh, it being my birthday yesterday. Um, of course I am recording this very early this morning um, and uh, of course just f probably finished up with you know all those lovely party things, but not really. Um, well, everybody, I hope that you, of course, enjoyed the uh, 911 op uh, episode. Um, of course, uh, viewer discretion was advised on that one because of uh, the um, contents of what happened. Now, uh, last time I remember what I was doing was um, setting up some middle, st uh, um, medium stands, um, of course, over here. Um, so what I was thinking was... Um, when, of course, uh, I probably have to redesign, but um, <clears throat> when it comes down to it, I might go ahead and unlock these, um, of course, 750,000 is a lot of money, and I only have 181,000. Um, of course, with that being said, um, I might leave this to run um, for the next episode after, um, after a little time, so um, we can, of course, uh, get up that money. Um, <clears throat> now, of course... With that being said, um, we uh, oh, I'll be expanding here, um, moving this runway. Of course, you can't really move it, um, so you have to kind of destroy it and then, you, of course, rebuild it. But that's fine. I can demolish the runway really quickly and put it back up here. Um, of course, that would mean that um, I will probably actually put up the runway up here first and then go, go ahead and destroy it down here, um, just so that we still have um, a, a runway that we can use but um everybody I hope that you're enjoying the episode for uh, episodes four um of course the airport CEO um, I definitely know that King Joe boss is enjoying them because uh, he keeps on, he keeps on asking for more so uh, thanks for that King Joe boss and uh, of course um, remember to uh, if you haven't um, already subscribe um, otherwise of course like the videos that you're uh, watching but um Everybody, so I believe what we did last time was uh, the f uh, a couple of times ago was uh, set up the bathrooms, um, and then we went to making up the um, these little restaurants in the middle, um, and then we went to having these uh, stores on the side. Um, now these stores look like they're closed. Ah, oh, okay. So I have not actually opened up a contract with these. Opened up a contract for that one, but not these ones. Okay. Alright, so, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, I'm going to really quickly sign a, con a couple of contracts here. Um, don't have that, do have that, do have that, do have that. You know what, I'm going to, I'm going to go with the burgers place. And I'm going to sign that away. Um... <clears throat> now we'll uh, sign a contract here as well. Um, as you go, okay. So um, as as you go is kind of like a, a supermarket. So that, that's pretty good. Um, maybe maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll have that as you go place at the front. Um, I believe we have all the requirements for it, so uh, let's go ahead and sign it. Um, go over here quickly. Um, inside the place, um, uh, bookshop selling your magazines and books to read whilst flying. Um, if your flight is delayed, okay. Um, so apparently we don't have something of theirs. Um, because I can't sign that contract. Oh, we need 16 shelves. Of, uh, we've only got 14. Okay. Fortunately, we can't help that one. But with the rest of them, though, um, power. What's power? Uh, electronics shop. Okay. Yeah, so what I'll do is um, when, it, when it comes down to it, um, I'll have just a a dedicated area. I mean, we're going to redesign this whole airport from scratch, I think, uh, because, um, and, and, but of course, leave some areas 
but um, of course, with that redesign, um, probably have in the middle all the stores and, and, and restaurants and everything. Um, and then off the left hand side here or something, small airports, um, no, that's right, I was going to do the small airports in the, uh, in the center, um, um, or, or over here somewhere, um, so that people can of course take off in that area. Um, and then the mediums will come down to here, and then you've got, you'll have the larges over here, um, which will expand. So, uh, of course, with that being said, um, we would go ahead with that now, but uh, of course, with our money being so low, we don't actually have that capability of doing that. Um, yes, uh, it would possibly seize these contracts, so it expires in four days, four hours. Um, it expires in three days and 24 hours, so by the end of the contract, so the, the contract will end. Um, with that, I can, of course, get a new contract onto that area, I believe. Um, otherwise, it, of course, will close up like this one. But um, other than that, so what we'll do is, for the time being, um, we will probably have the... Uh, fly, no. Um, Turner... Okay, um, Traveler's Shop, we'll do the Traveler's Shop for now, of course, that's a, a six day contract, so by the time, of course, uh, we are done, um, it should be, of course, over and done with, but that's fine, we can, of course, do that, um, <clears throat> we will, uh, we're gonna set up this, um, so what we'll do is, we'll finish setting up this, um, hopefully we can, because uh, otherwise it'll be very disappointing. Um, we probably would have to maybe get rid of these ones for now um, and work off with the two, but I'm not too sure yet. Um, I think what we'll do... Um, where's the, where's the uh, tutorial side? So we can go to the International Airport. <coughs> That's done. Okay, so apparently we have to build a, a conveyor belt system. Um, we can go ahead with that so that we can have it for the small parts. Um, so I'll go ahead and actually do that now. Um, so build a separate terminal area and place down a baggage bay. Okay. So... When it's a separate area, does that mean it's outside of the security point? I'm gonna say so. Possibly. Um, build a separate terminal area and uh, down the baggage bay. Uh, connect the baggage uh, bay to service road. Build conveyor belts from a check-in desk to a cargo bay. Um, build a baggage claim area in a suiting, unsecure area of the terminal. Okay, so it is definitely unsecure. Um, collect the check-in desk. Uh, check, uh, connect the check-in desk to the baggage bay. Click on the desk to open panel. Um, collect. Oh, connect stand to baggage bay. Uh, click on the stand to open panel. Okay. Um, connect baggage claim area to baggage bay. Um, click on the room to open panel. Click on the room to open panel. Okay, so it's going to be a whole room that we're dedicating to this baggage bay click uh, collection. So what we can do is, with that being said, then, ooh. Um, with that being said, then, um, I will probably that's high panel, high panel, yeah, high panel. There we go. Um, I will probably set it up to be here-ish somewhere. Um, probably won't put it in its own room, but um, that's fine. Cargo bay, conveyor belt. Domestic claim area. Okay, so domestic claim area, I think what I'll do is... I'll set it to be about yay big. That looks about right. That looks fine to me. Um, now to find out where this conveyor actual belt thing is.
Okay, so it seems like we have a conveyor belt system. But we, and we have a cargo bay, but we don't have an actual cargo area. Cargo bay area. Unless it's one of these terminal structures. Which it doesn't seem to be, so... Uh, I am not a hundred percent sure on this one, but uh, we can possibly <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this really quickly um, overground actually no I'm gonna go underground because uh, these will go underground. Um, rotate. There we go. Um, actually, we will have it above ground because, of course, it needs to connect. Um. We will have to figure this out. Probably have to do it like that. Oh, God. No. Don't do that. Um, this is where the underground one comes in handy. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna delete that. Um, I'm gonna go that way, like that. Okay, why is that not connecting like that? Do I need to ex move these? I think I'm gonna have to move these. Bugger. I am gonna have to move this. Okay, so it seems like what I've done is I've put down the th areas. This pops up, but it only pops up on one. Unless you're, of course, this one, but that's two. Um, so I'm not too sure why it's doing that, but I'm going to say that it's because it's next to each other here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, get the baggage overground. Um, and I'm just going to delete everything here. Just deleting it all, um, so I'll just get rid of that. There we go. Um, so what I'll do is, um, I think I'll have to, of course, move these areas over. So what I'll do is, I will. I'll have to wait until these customers are done. There we go. So. Um, that customer is done, we can close this, and then what we'll do is we'll actually have to demolish it, um, unfortunately. Um, we will wait for that one to be finished then, um, and then we'll of course go ahead and close that one. Um, So, we've gone ahead and closed that. It has a schedule. I know it has a scheduled flight now, but didn't have one before. Um, yeah. These, these construction guys, come on. Destroy the, the check-in. Good, good, good. They need to make it that if the more construction people, the, the faster it disappears. 
Um, or, or something along the lines of that. Just so we can actually do that. But anyway. Um, there we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove this. Get this removed. Um, I'm going to have to move the everything over, aren't I? All this as well. These lovely TVs that I've got set up for them. I'm going to have to set it up differently. Um, which actually I feel, feel like the information screen should be like at the front somewhere here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the front of the toilets. Um, just so that it's there, visible. Um, I also feel like maybe the wall over here or something along the lines of that should have it. So one there. One there. Actually, not there. Let's go here. And then we'll go, like, maybe there. So that's, like, the middle. Um, yeah, we'll go there. Um, we'll also... So, we'll... We've done that one there. Which we can probably move over now that we've got that. So, we'll do this. Very quickly. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm feeling like we should move these uh, things back. Alright, so... I believe, believe the decorations is getting in the way, so we're gonna have to uh, unfortunately get rid of those decorations. All of them, I mean literally all of them. Um, I don't understand why you can't put it up there when it, when it was up there already, but then I may have done the decoration afterwards, but I don't know. Um, that would mean that these guys, what I can do actually, to make it a bit better, I can possibly make these guys go back, but uh, I'm a little unsure. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this desk will go here so what one two three four five so one two three four five one two three four five okay so that was the edge of that okay so let's uh let's pause this very quickly um and then what we'll do is we'll go desks uh information screens one there. Unfortunately, that screen's not going to fit, so I'm going to have to go like that. Um, maybe we can put something in the middle or something along the lines of something else. Um, check and desk, though. Um, we will make it like this and this. Um, then we'll add the uh, decorations. Uh, the, the small decoration of Christmassy, apparently. So, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead with that now. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll add the conveyor belt above ground. Here and here. Um, and then here to here, here and here. Um, here and here, here and here. Oh god, it's doing like a check-in desk the opposite way than I want it to do. Um, 
Okay. Let me let me d double check this check in desk. There we go. That's a little better. I was getting a little uh, concerned um, of why that was in the middle of the thing. But anyway, um, now we can go ahead with that. That's fine. Um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead with that. Um, we'll let it build. Um, we're apparently losing money now. Um, we've spent too much, which is not good, uh, but I'm sure we'll still make it up. Um, and with that, I'm sure that making up will become more profitable than uh, anything. Um, but, uh... We're, uh... Gonna wait for this to finish. Um, and then we can go ahead with the next part. Alright, so it seems like that's been done like that. So now what we'll do is we'll build the queue. Um, we'll close these desks for now, actually. Um, just really quickly build the queues. Um, now, I believe what I did was this way, then down here to here, back up, down here, down here, but that. That's how I believe I did it, but, uh,. To tell you the truth, I would hate to uh, walk like that, but then again, um, if there's a big ass queue that uh, happens, uh, I'd rather be covered than anything, really. Um, so that can be covered like that. Um, I'm going to cover to that. We can probably actually go like this now, um, right. We'll give its middle um, middle name. Um, it's naming so that we know which check-in desk um, it's going to go through. Um, and then we should have the conveyor belts coming up very shortly. Oh, is that underground? Oh, I was meaning overground. Okay. That was my stuff up. Um, the underground one is over here. It's where I was. Item not valid. Oh, am I trying to do the overground? I meant the underground. There we go. That's better. Okay. So, now that the overground will be getting built, I hope. Otherwise, I just spent $200 for nothing, but anyway. And that's per thing. Aha, <laughs> per, per stand. Anyway, that will be now built as well. Um, we need to organize this to go to a building over here, figure out how big this damn thing is. Um, that's actually quite big. And that is my timer, apparently, uh, because I have noticed that I've gone over time sometimes. But uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just finish off this uh, little part of the uh, baggage bay, and uh, once, of course, that is finished, I, I guess I'll finish up then with this video, but um, it uh, must be placed inside, so let's go ahead and build a terminal foundation. I'm guessing it's going to be terminal foundation. Um, but would we want to send it maybe there? probably would want to send it like through here wouldn't you so that this links up so when 
that goes like that. Um, uh, but then there's extras for checking like security and other things like that. So what I'm thinking. I think what we'll do is we'll have it on this side. No, we'll, we'll have it on this side. Um, we'll have it that it comes in to there like that. Um, I sh It should technically be cleared up, but I think actually, yeah, we could do that. We'll, what we'll do is we'll do this. Um, aircraft, we'll do a small runway. Nope. Uh, tax Foundation. Need a uh, road. Um, infrastructure. There we go. Service road. Um, we'll go high quality. Um, and we'll go here. Yeah, I think that will do. Because um, what I'll do is then... Of course, uh, get this baggage thing, make sure that it's going to connect up. That looks like it's going to, so that's good. I feel like there should be only technically one run, uh, like one road, but uh, I feel that would be useless of trying to get in and out, but anyway. Um, we will go and create a terminal section. We'll make it quite big, actually. Um, so we'll go eight. Um, actually, I should probably go up to the, against the wall, shouldn't I? So I'll do this as well. Um, and then just get rid of th this lovely section of wall. Um, with that being said now, we should be able to place this. Cannot be placed on walls. Let's uh, demolish these walls then. From here to here. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to demolish all these walls. Uh, just to make it easier. Um, I feel like actually I should possibly send this to this. Um, we're going to now place this lovely cargo thing. Um, there or there? I feel like we should go there. Yeah, that that look that seems better. There and there. Um, which means that I could have just left this stuff out. But, uh, anyway. Actually, you know what? Um, and then I'm going to put a wall from here to here. Um, because you don't really need that much space. You, you really only need a small amount of space to build in with this part, it seems like it. So, let's go ahead, build this part. Um, go ahead and uh, renew a new contract on this place, um, as it, of course, ran out, the last one. Um, the bean is back, so we'll go ahead with the bean. Um, of course, uh, they were... Fulfillment. Requirements fulfilled, sales, you know... Apparently we're not reaching many sales of what is expected, but that's fine. We, we can manage that. Um, is it snowing outside? Is it supposed to be technically snowing, or is that just because it's apparently winter? I don't know. Um, two aircrafts at airport, one departing, one arriving. 59 passengers in the terminal, that's it. Alright, well, this baggage bay seems to be nearly finished. Um, there we go. So, cargo bay, that's fine. I'm going to say cargo bay small. Um, 
small pot, small airport. Yeah, we'll just go uh, uh, cargo base small. Um, we're going to require four ramp agents to be stationed here. Um, we are going to be <clears throat> going on the conveyor belt here. Um, I feel like I should have exper uh, 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 have gone to the procedure mint and checked on the baggage handling things. Yeah, so a tilt tray, um, and we got a baggage scanner. So, uh, 50,000 dollars, and then zero dollars an hour. Delivery time, six hours. Okay. Um, generic ba baggage scanner is your airport's first line of defense against baggage contraband. By unlocking the generic baggage scanner, you will able be able to detect any kind of suspicious baggage and divert its path through a diversion belt. Um, accuracy may vary. Uh, looking to build more complex uh, convey belt system design. Look no more. The system will unlock the conveyor belt tra uh, tilt tray, um, which will enable you to divert baggage in various di uh, directions depending on its predetermined path. Comes with multiple settings. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll unlock both of those, meaning that we've just spent a lot of money. Um, but, who doesn't spend a lot of money when doing an airport? Um, <clears throat> we're going to uh, go ahead with those, um, and we'll, uh, we'll wait until those have, of course, finished, I think, uh, before finishing the rest of the terminal off. Um, with this, though, um, I think the sink is broken. God. I, I, is people sitting on the sinks or something? Because, like, those sinks shouldn't break. Not easily, let's say that. But, okay, that's, that's the female, that's the male, that's good. Um, wow, look at all the construction people. Where are all these construction people going? Where are they going? They're like little ants. We only have a handful there, and they're all, like, coming out of the airport. To, to come down here. If you can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can I can barely just see that. As you can see, now they're there. But, um... Let's, uh... Let's go ahead with this, um... We're gonna, we're gonna check on this just very quickly to see how long we have until that becomes available. Two and a half hours, so... That's fine. Um, enough time to be able to go baggage underground and, uh... Go like this. Um, of course, this area will probably. I'm not too sure how it works, but uh, yeah. Well, I guess we'll figure that out um, once it comes down to it. Um, okay. <coughs> Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know actually where, loading site, nope. So it seems like I'm a little confused, but anyway. Um, with the whole redesign though, I'm, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to possibly try and put this inside. Um, at the moment you can't really actually do the subway en entrance inside the building, um, but I think I have a cheat's way of knowing how to possibly get it in there. Um, okay, conveyor belt is received those extra things. So let's pause the game very quickly. Cargo scanner, cargo destroyer. Okay, so use for sus uh, detecting suspicious uh, contents. Okay, so 
what we'll do is I'm unsure how this really really works but I will say that it will come to this section in a way um, it will go to this section in a way I don't know <clears throat> I I feel like maybe we should do that like that um and then cargo destroy goes there and other way around flip it there um other than that we will uh convey belt used for transporting checked in luggage such as baggage uh, overground speed conveyor belt. Okay. okay. I'm unsure a little bit about this, but sure. I, I don't feel like that actually was really needed, but let's go with the overground conveyor belt um, I'm going to also go out with the over conveyor belt here and into there then we'll go here and then there um, and then we'll come out to like here somewhere whatever it is so, we'll get that built. Um, actually, that looks ridiculous, so I'm going to actually change that a little bit. Um, overground. Um, underground. Yeah. I'm going to have to destroy that wall, really. Um... Yeah, no, we're gonna have to demolish that. Um. Overground or underground? Oh, no, overground. Underground. There we go. Um. Okay, why is that not getting removed? Oh my god, people. I just wanted that removed. Thank you. Now we'll go there. And then we'll add an extra wall because, you know, we can't apparently physically do this. Um, the wall should be done first, though. D do the wall first. Not supposed to really go in and out of the wall. There's a desk right there, and it's like the manager of... No, it's just a service technician. There you go. Okay, so... You guys shouldn't be able to go underneath the wall. But, anyway. Not the point. Um... Needs to be linked. Yes. Yes, it does. Connect baggage to this. Connect baggage to this. Connect baggage to this. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go connect baggage to this, connect baggage to this, connect baggage to this. That is my second alarm, just in case I uh, did forget to finish up. We're going to quickly finish this off right now. Um, I, I really do appreciate that uh, everybody, you're um, of course enjoying these videos of uh, Airport CEO, of course. Uh, Trying to get this all up and running, um, you know, is, is a bit difficult, but, um, you know, trying to make sure that um, we do this correctly. Um, I, of course, need to make sure that the conveyor belt will, like, this, this part will actually work. Um, I'm going to say that um, it will probably be best if I... Yeah, so if I connect the check-in 
connect the, the uh, check-in desk to the baggage bay. Okay, so I've done already. I've already done that, and then cl a baggage claim area to the. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll connect this to this. But uh, uh, collection small. Um, that way we we know what which one it is. Um. Check room, room, check room requirements. Okay, what's the room requirements then? Uh, to find an area where passengers are. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Um, must be built outside the secure zone and contain conveyor belts to operate. Okay, so it's just a normal conveyor belt. Okay, so if we have an overground conveyor belt, for example, like this, going to here, to here, to here, um, and then we have like something along the lines of uh, it may be coming in one of these sections. I don't know. Um, I feel like that was probably the best part to do. But anyway, let's um, go underground now. Is this? This is not the underground part. This is the overground part, is it? Overground. Ah, oh, underground. We need to go underground and uh, connect straight up to this part, which uh, I think one less, just one left there. Um, I will go like this and then to this uh, which actually I feel I feel like we should possibly not even do that I feel like we should possibly just do this um, and then we have a underground I feel like that that was wrong. Um, overground. Yeah, so that was alright. And then underground went straight really fast. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I love how it's going straight to there, um, underneath the ground, but, um, you know, that can't be helped, but anyway. Um, uh, with this, though, we can now actually open this. Um, we can now also open this. Um, for ramp agents, well, I believe we actually do have ramp agents that should be already on the way there. Um, let's have a look at the staff really quickly. Um, overview filtered by ramp agent. Um... Go to employee. Yeah, so you guys should be able to... Oh, can't you access that? You know what? I, I, it's, it's technically a secure area, right? This is all technically a secure zone. So I'm going to go like that. Like that. Actually, I'll go like this. But that is all a secure zone. Um, conveyor belt door. I think what we'll do is we'll have this as like a security. This is a staff only area. So, staff can go here, that will have that, employer can't reach their destination, uh, design, uh, designed job, 
Uh, okay, well, they can now because there's a medium door being built. Um, so every ramp agent should be able to get there now. Um, probably should have gone from, like, the, the, the staff room door, like, or a staff room door or something, like, right here or something. But, uh, that would mean that this gets put away. But, uh, anyway. That's staff room one. What the hell's this? Is that not a staff room? Is that not part of the staff room? Oh wow. Okay. So apparently... Apparently this is a whole different room. <sighs> that's de that's definitely new to me. Um, I'm gonna have to build a, a three staff rooms to be able to go here. Staff room. Bottom. Uh, staff room one bottom. Uh, staff room one left. Staff room right. Oh, was there? Staff room one right. Uh, do you wish to allow one hour late? Yes, yes, yes. Why not? We're we're running one hour late apparently. Not too sure why, but, you know. Um. Ooh. Okay, that's that's a new button. Um, alright, so I believe what we can do... Uh, we have the baggage bays connected. We have it all working, it seems to be. So that, that part of the tutorial should be complete now. So, we should be able to move on to the next part. Alright, so it seems like what we can do in the next part is, uh, of course, move on to the upper rate and uh, the basic conveyor belt system. Um, apparently, we have to have eight ramp agents, um, purchase two service trucks, um, enable the baggage handling service, um, and uh, press process five commercial flights with baggage handling so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do that in the next video um, of course before that next video I will of course record a little while of uh, gameplay beforehand so that we can get out the money um, of course with that it will as we've spent so much and we're of course doing everything um, the money has gone down within revenue um, so uh, Unfortunately, we're not getting as much money every day as we would like to. Um, of course, I've just spent a hell of a lot of money, so it's probably recalculating that now and trying to get that all back up into place. But um, for now, everybody, I, I hope that you're enjoying the, uh, the, the video um, and also the gameplay of these uh, lovely um, of, of these lovely games. Um, and of course, like. Airport CEO and 911 Operator, like I said last week, are the two main games I like playing. Um, of course, we do have a couple of other games that I'm bringing out, um, and so those will be coming out very shortly, um, and I'm happy to have them come out. Now, uh, now that we've built our um, basic conveyor belt system, um, we can now go ahead with that, um, and of course uh, have it with that. I really appreciate that, of course, uh, you're watching my videos, um, of course, especially um, if you're coming back constantly to watch just uh, a couple of videos, even if it may be just the same game or whatever it may be. But uh, everybody, I hope that you're having a wonderful, lovely day. And uh, of course, like I always say, take it easy.